Let's go and see which of these system of equations is going to be one solution, no solution, or infinite many solution. So to do that, I'm going to use the elimination method. So I'm gonna get the coefficient of the same variable, one to be positive, one to be negative, so therefore I can add the two equations. First one over here, I'm gonna multiply the top equation by a negative two. That's gonna give me a negative six x plus a positive four y equals a positive 30. When I go ahead and now add this top equation with the second equation I preserved, I'm now going to get a zero x plus a zero y is equal to zero. So zero equals zero. That means I have an example of infinite many solution. That is, these two equations are representing the exact same line. The next example, I'm going to get this to be a positive two. So again, I'll multiply the top equation by a negative two. Multiplying over here, negative two times five halves, that is just going to give me a negative five x. Multiplying negative two times negative y, that's gonna give me a positive two y, and this will give me a positive eight. Now again, adding these two together, this is going to give me a zero x plus a zero y, but eight plus eight is equal to 16. Zero equals 16 is never going to be the case. That is an example of no solutions. Last example, and this time I'm going to multiply the bottom equation by a negative two. When I do that, I don't know why I'm adding here right now. When I multiply here, I'm gonna get a negative two x. Let's see, that's going to be a positive four y equals a negative eight. Now I can add the two equations, the top equation and the one I just changed, that's gonna give me a zero X. This will give me a positive three Y and that's gonna give me equal to a negative four. I can now solve for Y, then take that value for Y, plug it into one of these equations to find the value of X and I will get a coordinate point of an X and a Y. So this one has one solution.